Apollo 7768 again. Um, this time I'm just uh, going to use uh, my trusty uh, iPhone 4S to uh, to make the video. I think it's in uh, 1080p, so uh, it's a little bit better than my computer. Um, I'm going to excuse myself right away from the shaky cam and stuff like that, so uh, if you're motion sensitive, break out the gravel. Um, I had a question about uh, my... Um, my display case um, uh, for my Vader helmet. So, without any further ado, uh, I'm gonna move in. Uh, so, this was built by um, uh, Canis Plastics uh, here in, in uh, Ottawa. They have like, um, I think they've been in the business for over 60 years, and I mean, they've provided some aerospace grade plexiglass to. To a lot of people and uh, a variety of products, uh, and they do custom jobs like this. Um, so basically, this is uh, what do you call museum grade uh, plexiglass. It's uh, fully UV uh, protection uh, from uh, from the light. Um, this thing is uh, also uh, uh, dust tight. I mean, it's impossible for dust to get in there. Just gonna move in a little bit closer here uh, if you can see this is the very bottom of the uh, of the display case and there's a one inch lip uh, that goes up so when you press uh, the case down uh, you can feel the air um, or even hear it uh, coming out it's just a just a little hissing uh, sound when you just uh, press it a little um, I mean I've had that Vader helmet in there for Oh God, at least a good five years, and there is not a single uh, speck uh, of of uh, dust on it. Um, so uh, the dimensions of uh, the case, uh, it is exactly uh, eighteen and a half inches uh, wide by eighteen and a half inches deep. And this case is 22 inches and a half tall. Um, so um, it leaves a lot of room. Uh, the, the last thing I wanted to do is to cramp up the helmet. So I, I did a lot of, um, I mean, I gave it a lot of space around it. So it, it just looks much more awesome like this. It's not actually kind of uh, too cramped up. Um, I know that m depending on the model of um, of what character's helmet you have in there, if you have a stormtrooper or stuff like that, it doesn't go as high uh, as that Vader helmet, and this is the Vader helmet from Episode 3, so it's a lot longer because of its neck piece, that it's much uh, longer than uh, the Vader helmet, uh, let's say, from Episode 4, well, from the original trilogy, basically, uh, that the neck was quite different. Um, so that's why the case is so high. Um, also in the case, as you can see, there's a mirror base, um, also made out of, um, of plexiglass. Uh, it has a diameter of 17 inches, if I recall correctly. Uh, the reason I put the mirror in there is the helmet is so black, uh, I wanted to lose, uh, to, uh, excuse me, use ambient light. Uh, to reflect it back on the bottom of the helmet. Now, um, I do have uh, some lighting here uh, that I use from time to time to uh, light up my display cases and uh, the Vader helmet really shines through. Uh, I may attempt uh, to, uh, to uh, show that to you guys, but I don't know if it's going to translate well into video. Um, so in terms of cost, uh, this uh, this cost me about five hundred dollars. Uh, quite expensive, you might add. But uh, there's one great collector. One time he told me like, you take the price of your collectible, and uh, you divide it by three, and basically that would be the cost, uh, an acceptable cost for um, a uh, a display case. Uh, so, um, yeah, 500 bucks, uh, got me this, 
Uh, I don't know if the costs uh, since then have risen or fallen. Uh, I could imagine it would, it might be a little bit more expensive these days. Um, so I don't know if uh, what would be the uh, the situation, but anyways, um, uh, I, I I simply adore this case. It's it's beautiful. It's uh, uh, it just uh, brings out the the Vader helmet uh, extremely well, and uh, I don't know of any other company that produces uh, cases of that of that size. Uh, and thinking back at the five hundred dollar price range, it, it I th I don't I don't know if you'd be able to find something by a company at that price. I don't know, it might be still a competitive price, but um, I don't know, guys. Uh, so the other thing, really quickly, I wanted to show you uh, from uh, uh, turn on the light. Here's the uh, dehumidifier in question. Uh, it's from it's a Woods. Uh, it holds a ton of water. Uh, basically, if you can show you the back there, that whole thing there. I don't know the exact volume. Right now, it's full. I have to have to empty it. It has filters uh, for the dust and everything. Uh, so that's uh, basically my weapon of choice for uh, fighting humidity in the basement. Um, and just to give you an example, it's been off for not too long, and we already—I'm already at 63% humidity. It doesn't take long that it uh, uh, it creeps up uh, in the basement, and this is not a huge room. I mean. It's not, it's not big, uh, so it's, uh, yeah, it creeps up really fast, uh, with the, uh, with the humidity in here. So, that's basically it, guys. Um, hope you enjoyed this little quick, uh, show for the, uh, the display case. I know a lot of people wanted to, uh, to have the specifics in terms of the, of the case, so, um, Again, fire off any questions if you want more uh, more details and stuff. But again, it's uh, Canis Plastics of uh, Ottawa. Uh, they used to be uh, located on Lisker, uh, but I think they've moved uh, last year or something like that. So anyways, look them up. And they do custom work. So if you guys uh, live in the Ottawa area or in Canada and stuff like that, you could, you could try to get a hold of them. So take care, guys. Bye.